Hey you guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today's subscriber comment shout out goes to Pink Glitter TV. You already know I'm gonna have it up here on the screen. Thank you so much Pink Glitter TV for being a loyal subscriber, always leaving a comment and showing support. Thank you so, so, so much. Make sure that you leave a comment on my videos to see if you will be the next video subscriber comment shout out. Thank you guys so much for the support and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. guys some of my absolute favorite makeup products that I cannot live without that is in good times bad times quarantine and not on quarantine I cannot live without these products I do not want to live without these products I have been wearing some of these products as I have been in quarantine as I have been wearing my mask I still grab these products just to like touch up my face and just to make sure that I still look decent under my mask because it's just for me like it's a personal thing like I still want to make sure that I look decent if I take my mask off and somebody sees me driving and I don't have my mask on like it's for me you know what I'm saying let me know down below if some of these products are your favorite let me know if you have tried some if they worked out for you and let me just know some of the products that you cannot live without so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into the product. okay so I'll just go into the order that I apply them on my face and the first thing that I always do is primers you guys know I've ranted and raved about the elf booster drop I've been using these for about maybe two years and I absolutely love this product it's like ten dollars for this size bottle and this is I think like one fluid ounce I can't even oh it's 15 milliliters in here and honestly these don't last me too long because I use them so much sometimes I use them just as a moisturizer on my face I love to use it as a primer like I love to mix it in with my foundations I just absolutely love this stuff it makes my face feel so silky smooth so soft it just like glides onto my face and it just creates like a smooth canvas for my foundation to go over this I have a whole review on this I'll have it linked down below so you guys can check it out I talk more into detail about this but if you go into Ulta or Walmart or wherever they sell elf and you see these please pick them up okay, next I have concealer and my absolute hands-down favorite concealer is the LA girl pro concealers I have been using these bad boys since they came out I remember when they had them in the hair store which they still have them in the hair store they were like two dollars in the hair store and I would go in and just buy like a bunch of them I still I have like six of them over there back there in my makeup like I absolutely love this concealers this is the yellow corrector one and this is dark cocoa and dark cocoa so dark cocoa is what I use in the summertime when I get a little bit of a tan and also I can use this to contour I also like to use mahogany to contour so that one's a lot darker than this one I like to use that one to cream contour and to cream bronze and the yellow corrector one I like to use this one as a under eye highlight I also like to use like I think it's beige or medium sand or medium tan it's one of those I like to use under my eyes to highlight but these are just the absolute best concealers at the drugstore hands down so I love these and I cannot live without them. Maybelline foundations are my absolute go-to foundations at the drugstore I know that I can pick up any Maybelline foundation and it's pretty much gonna work for me I absolutely love the super stay foundation and I'm always coconut in Maybelline foundations so I have the super stay foundations which is what I'm wearing today and it looks flawless and then I also love the Maybelline fit me um, foundation line I love the dewy I need another one but I always keep the matte and poreless because you guys know I get a little oily and I really like this one because it is matte but at the same time it's like a natural matte it doesn't have you looking like dry plain in the face it still allows your face to have some life so I absolutely love the fit me matte and poreless and I love the fit me dewy oh my gosh like Maybelline just makes the best foundations ever at the drugstore I think they're really easy to work with I think that they really look like skin I can do the same thing with this that I can do with my concealers I can take this dab a little bit off the top and just touch up my dark spots 
and go about my day. I don't even have to set my face with anything and it just looks so nice and glowy and skin like. So if you are looking for a foundation at the drugstore that is going to work for you, it's gonna be simple to use and it's gonna look like skin, make sure you guys are giving the Maybelline foundations a try. Next, let's talk about the eyes. So you guys know I have super small eyes. So I try to always have on lashes or some mascara when I go out or I at least try to curl my lashes if I have time. And so a mascara that I have absolutely been obsessed with forever. You guys know I love Maybelline mascaras, but when it comes to like a go-to, a ride or die, you know what I'm saying? The Rimmel Lash Accelerator, hands down, is my favorite. I love this because I, I can put this on my bottom lashes and it separates them and it just like completes my look. I love how thin the wand is like how the bristles look on the wand. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has a decent size um, wand head and then the bristles on it are really thin. And so it really helps when I can get into my lashes because my lashes aren't like thick and voluminous. They're pretty, they're like clumped together, but they're thin, you know what I'm saying? And then they're short. So this mascara really elongates them and makes them look longer than they are. And it makes it look like I have a little bit more volume in them. And I love this mascara so much. It stays on all day. It's super, super black, really easy to use, and it lasts for a long time. So I wanted to make sure that I included a little eyeshadow palette into this video as well. And it is the palette that I'm wearing today. And I absolutely love this super simple look that I did. I use the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette. So I've had this palette for so long. And it's like a kind of neutral palette, but it does have some nice smoky tones over here, some nice orange and like a reddish kind of cranberry magenta color here. All of these here, I just absolutely love. But these, the top and the bottom shade, oh my gosh. This palette is literally like the world's most perfect palette. And it's from Wet n Wild, so you guys know that it's affordable. And I just love how thin it is. Like, I can go on vacation and only take this and I can be good to go. I love the texture of the shadows. As you can see, like, this eyeshadow look t literally took me, like, five minutes to do. Just a little bit of smoky on the outer corner. I got some wing liner to make it look a little bit, you know, more dramatic. Like, I love this palette so much. And I think this palette is great. Okay, moving down to the last couple of products. I have the, for my brows, I have the e.l.f. Eyebrow Wax. And I was going to put an eyebrow pencil into this video, but I didn't want to do that because sometimes I do not have time to sit there and draw on my eyebrows. This stuff, it literally slicks your brows down and it just gives them like a shape. Like, it doesn't, of course, make it look like you have an eyebrow on. It makes it look like you just went and got your eyebrows done. And I love this stuff. It's kind of sticky, so it holds them in place. It's also is really good if you want to prep your eyebrows to do them with the pencil. And it's just like wax, and I need another one. Oh my gosh, this is all I have left. This is all I have left, so I'm gonna definitely have to go get another one. I've had this one forever, and I absolutely love it, and it's just in the shade clear. I have been absolutely obsessed with the Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. You guys, I am a lip balm junkie. I love chapstick, I love like be like Burt's Bees, I love like lip gloss from like the hair store. I just love lip products. It's like one of my favorite things to get. And so I was looking, for some reason, I think it's like wearing the mask all the time, like my lips had got really dry. I couldn't drink enough water, like my lips were cracking. They just like looked, they looked really bad and dry and unhealthy and I promise you I was drinking water. And so I just had to switch it up and I was always putting on like lip gloss and stuff, but. Sometimes lip gloss gets on my nerves and I'll just end up wiping it off. But I wanted something that I could just put on and my lips felt healthy and moisturized and plump that I didn't feel like I had to wipe off. Finally, we have the Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. And if you have been on my channel for any amount of time, then you know that this is my absolute lip gloss ever. Yes, it's $20. Yes, it is a little expensive. Yes, you can only get it at like Ulta and Sephora. Yes, it is worth every piece of hassle that it may put you through to get. Buxom makes the absolute best lip glosses ever in my opinion and I think White Russian is the best lip gloss in the world. In the world, debate me about it. Get into this lip and then it's tingly, it's plumping. 
oh my gosh i love this lip gloss so much it's just so nice and juicy and girly and it has like a really nice milky pink to it i just love everything about it so i think that this lip gloss goes well with absolutely any makeup that you're doing whether you're doing a dark smoky eye whether you're doing something natural whether you're doing something just slightly smoky like this this lip gloss goes with it and if you put a brown lip liner with it all right, you guys, so those were all of my favorite products that I have been absolutely loving right now. I also did my mask proof makeup in the description box. I will have that video below. So make sure that you guys check it out. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and ring the bell notification button so you're notified every time I post. I post three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Definitely become a part of the indie fam i truly appreciate the support and i'm super excited to get to 2000 like hitting 1000 was such a big deal hitting 2000 we're gonna turn up you know what i'm saying we're gonna turn up like it's 50k so thank you guys so much for joining me for another video and i will see you guys in my next one bye